Can you tell me about this new game from Fantasy Flight? We've got Star Wars Outer Rim. All right, so Outer Rim is a competitive game for one to four players set in the Star Wars universe. You can play as mercenaries, smugglers, bounty hunters, kind of whatever you want. And you are trying to uh, get as much fame as possible. The okay. first person so it's can... much more kind of sandboxy than typical Star Wars, which is Empire Rebellion. Yes. Yes. And you are trying to get 12 fame before the rest of the people, before the rest of the players. Um, what you are doing is you start off with a basic ship. You're running around the galaxy doing various different jobs. You okay. can, uh, like, so that is a bounty. So is that kind of like, um, have you played Firefly? So kind of similar idea, just different Similar setting. idea, just a different setting, different gameplay, exactly. Yep, and so, like, you've got bounties where you can actually go to a certain uh, system. You're looking for, like, Saw Gerrera, let's say. Um, once you get him, you have the option of uh, capturing him and delivering him to whoever wants him or maybe you have so kind of, of pick up deliver type type thing yep you can do the same with like smuggling cargo for certain people you can hire people to do your smuggling jobs for you okay. um yep you're just trying to keep making a bunch of credits so you can upgrade your ship you can add mods to your ship to make it better and fight better and i assume then you're getting the fame by doing these jobs yes right. yep Exactly, and then there are story cards. It's kind of getting in your way. What's your obstacles to completing these? Obstacles are you're dealing with the other players who are definitely getting more fame than you are. Um, sometimes they can cause you to lose fame as well through story cards. So it's direct conflict? Are you fighting with the other players or is it literally just pull and tug on the fame? Pull and tug on the fame, yep. Okay. Uh, the other obstacles is we have reputation bars. So you can okay. gain favorable reputation with like the Imperials and not so favorable with the Rebels. And any time that you enter into like Rebel controlled space, they will send out a patrol to come and uh, okay. attack you. And you can have a space battle to uh, destroy that. Money on there so yep. you can bribe them, yeah? yeah? Exactly, yep. So it's all about money. It's all about uh, wheeling and dealing and trying to get... I assume you've got like the standard, yeah. I mean, they're... Yeah, yeah, you got Han Solo. We've got Boba Fett that we're playing with here. Boss. Pretty cool. We've got um, Ketsu from Rebels. Okay. And uh, Dr. Afra from the comics. Wow. Yeah, so it's really cool. Yeah. Spreading out, exactly. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. So how many kind of playable characters are there in total? There are six playable characters. And uh, are they asymmetric? Do they have their own abilities? Yeah, they all have their own abilities. Um, you start off with a personal goal and an action. Yeah. If you accomplish a personal goal, it usually gets you some fame. And then you can flip this card over and you've got additional abilities that you okay. didn't, that weren't available to you. So if I just... Not sure if that's in shop, but there we go. We've got Bubba Fett there. Oh, it's cool. Um, so roughly how long does it take to play a game? I would say between about two and three hours. Your first okay, game is so definitely on the three. One. It is a longer one, yep. Probably shorter than Rebellion? Yes, I would say definitely shorter than Rebellion. Okay. Yep, yep. It also depends on your style of playing, too. Like, if you've yeah. got a group that definitely wants to wheel and deal, it might take a little bit longer than someone who's straight up like, I'm just going to keep accepting bounties and make as much money and infam and infamy see. as possible. The board is kind of modular. Yeah. Is that just to change the setup, or is that also for changing when you've got different numbers of players? So it um, it's mainly for uh, accessibility of just changing up the setup. Like, this is the basic learn-to-play setup. Uh, you can put these down in random order and it, it changes. You also have these contacts that you lay out at the beginning and those end up in random spots too. So like replayability is very high. So is there anything that does change based on player numbers at all to kind of help it scale? The and only thing that changes is there's a one player variant okay. and then two to four players all play the same game. Okay. One player you're basically um, you are playing yourself, and then you choose one other player to play a uh, kind of like an AI type person, yeah. and you run them simultaneous to you. Okay. And this is coming out. Is uh, it going to be Gen Con or? No, no, it's very soon. It's going to be. In it's going to be in June. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much.